Hey everyone, welcome back. On today's video, we are going to be discussing what community work is compared to charity work and what the problem with charity work actually is. Now, now before we get started, recently I started following a page called No White Saviors and it blew my mind because everything they discussed is things that I learned on university regarding community nutrition and community outreach and I didn't realize how bad the problem was regarding charity work until I found their page. So give them a follow, it's very insightful, you are made aware and conscious of so many things but for now let's get into the video. So, we will be discussing three different things as usual, namely what community profiling is, the problem with charity work and what actually should be done. So what is community profiling? Community profiling is the act of going into a community as an expert in your field. So for example, a nutritional expert goes into a community and finds out what their nutritional needs are and gives that community the tools in order to work towards the health goals. It's not about going into the community and telling them you need this, you need that, you must do this. No. Remember, a community is a group of people. They can follow the same culture, they can have different cultures. They can be from the same religion, they can have different religions. However, a community interacts with one another all the time, they are in each other's spaces, they run their community, they know their community. You are only there to give them the resources and the tools that they need. That's basically what community profiling is because at the end of community work, once you leave, that community must be able to function as a unit independently. So now that we know what community profiling is, what is charity work? And what's the problem with charity work? Well, regarding charity work, many times charity work is when someone, usually of privilege, goes to an area, does a little bit of work and leaves, but they've made no impact. And usually these are people that have money or privilege, like I said before, and have no knowledge of social social justice or social empowerment or nutrition or health they're just people there who want to make themselves feel good let's face it and why well because a lot of people out there with privilege also have white fragility and they feel like if they go into these communities it can make themselves feel good because they're not racist they are helping the poor starving little children in Africa. They're not racist at all. However, they kind of are. Why? Because as soon as you go into this community with your privilege as well as a camera crew and your social media account, then you're not really doing it to help the community. You're doing it to help yourself. And we all know that is what white supremacy is also, also about. Is the notion of dominating people in order to benefit yourself. Yeah, it's quite scary actually once you break it down. Now, what can we do? Well, from the charity point of view, from the charity work point of view, if you want to go do charity work and you're not actually going there to make a, a, a impactful difference or active or actively make a change there don't go stay at home donate money but just don't don't go into these communities because you are adding fuel to a fire you are adding to the problem you are going there to feed a child however you're not teaching the child how to feed themselves or you are going there to grow a tree but you're not teaching the community how to grow trees so what's the point of you going there besides wanting to make yourself feel better? So just don't go. What about the experts? What about health practitioners and people who fight for social justice and activists? Well, people with expert knowledge. 
Your only purpose there is to give those people resources and tools. You are there as a human resource. You are there to provide a service and once you are done providing that service, you leave. Because like we are taught, everyone has different health needs, different needs that need to be met in order to live a quite good quality life. So as the expert, you go there, you find out what they need, you use the knowledge in here and you re 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 relay the information to the community. And you do a good job by, by knowing that once you leave, those people can sustain themselves. And that's basically it. So that's the video today. I hope I got you thinking about the difference between community work and charity work and why social media and charity should not mix. Because if the people on social media are doing charity work, unfortunately, most of the time, they're not doing it for the right reasons. So until next time, stay safe, stay warm. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. For those interested, I'm drinking green tea, apple and pear flavor out of my Slytherin mug because Slytherin is the best house. I'm putting this down because it's hella hot and very full. I don't know why I make these things so full. What should we be, what should you be taking away from this video of Aziza just complaining about the issues of charity work and white privilege? underdeveloped because why am I saying because <sighs> now